So hi everybody and welcome to Pelihuone. This is your host Jonne and this will be my first and probably only video in English. Uh, the reason for, for me to doing this in English is that I haven't, I haven't found another video on YouTube doing this. this is, these are all the Halo limited editions so far, far I know. Of course there's coming out one Halo for Halo 2 Wars or Halo Wars 2 but that's not out yet so in that sense this should be the only one. I will go to the contents and do the for the boxes one by one. This video will be full of jump cuts. If you hate them, please stop the video, watch something else. Uh, but those who enjoy this kind of stuff, unboxing and uh, content watching will be really happy because there are a lot of boxes in front of me and I'm really studying them, I think, one by one, starting with Halo 2. Uh, and those who are wondering what the uh, Halo 2 starter set is doing there, basically the Xbox Live starter set is doing there. Uh, even though it's not a limited edition per se, it's basically the first bigger box version with the uh, Metallic Halo 2, so that's why I'm going to do it. And actually it's nowadays a little bit harder to combine complete in box, so I think it's unworthy addition to this set but yeah let's start it so this will be the first jump cut sorry and i'll be right back and off we go with the first box this is the xbox live starter kit with halo 2 uh, it's a really nice box it contains a dream month uh, xbox live code for the original xbox and headset and halo 2 the original normal version uh, there's nothing much to it except, of course, the contents, which I said before. There's the headset adapter for the original Xbox controller, comes in, plugs into the memory card slot of the device. Well, I'm not gonna open it. And here's the headset, nice Xbox logo. Oh, come on, focus, focus. And there, it, there she goes. And the instructional manual, manuals, some uh, Xbox Live propaganda. Ooh, look at those games! It plays Counter Strike. Yay, Counter Strike! And then there's some three month code for Xbox Live. It's still uncratched, unscratched, but yeah, let's keep it that way. And then there's the game, it's the normal one, everybody's seen this. Probably the most sold game for the original Xbox. But yeah, even though this is the normal the uh, normal version and it doesn't, it doesn't basically count as a limited edition, it's still in this condition containing everything unused. I still, I still count it as one, but you can argue in the comments if you're not on the same page with me. So let's go to the next, oh, but here's the contents, look at the DVD, oh, nice DVD. They actually don't do this, do this like this anymore, big manuals and so on. But yeah, so like I said, I still count it as one, because it's complete in box. And let's go to the next one. It will be the real limited edition of Halo 2. Ooh, shiny. My white balance is going bonkers because I have a strong headlight above it. But yeah, this is the real deal. Nordic sleeve, by the way. Uh, nice Master Chief on it. Nice embossing on the Halo 2 logo. Same disc, uh, same manuals as the original. Actually, I think this has a uh, different print on it. But yeah, it has had a different print. It was printed as a covenant version compared to the normal one, which I think uh, and a human version. But yeah, same stuff. Some more propaganda for other plays, games. Oh, Conquer. I love that game. 
And again, an unused, unused life code, still on scratch. And there's some. Oh, come on. Adverts for the manual. Nothing special, but the but the steel box is the thing why you get this one. It's really nice. The embossing, the print. Come on, focus. There you go. John, look at John. Yeah, and that nice emboss on that Halo 2 logo and those details. That's that's something cool. One thing though, if you're you know, shopping for this, uh, they have a tendency to rust. And I'm not kidding you, I have a Doom tree that is so full of speckles. So if you're getting one of these for collecting be sure it's maybe mean condition and doesn't have any damage and tended ones then start to rust faster than untended ones so that's something you should look at look at when you're getting this one but this one you really want in your collection it's it's cheap and it looks good so off to the next one so that should be then I think Halo 3 yeah we're going to already to Xbox 360 generation, so wait, we'll be back in a moment. So, this is the Halo 3 limited edition box. Uh, it's like you can see, it's double the size, so it has to be bigger. It goes to 11. Uh, <laughs> like, like the Halo 3 marketing campaign, it's also bigger, but like everything goes in America and with Microsoft. Bigger is better, so there's also the Legendary ed Edition, which we're not going to talk in this video since it's only limited editions, but I have to mention the Halo 3 uh, leg Legendary, since that's one, one is sought after, since it's the John 117 Halo Helmet, which I really want too. I still miss that one, but I'm going to get it one day. But yeah, this is the limited edition for Halo 3. Uh, it has a really, really nice print cover. Uh, with some pictures of the Master Chief and and squaddies and so on and then there's the Halo 3 logo and some Halo 3 on the sides uh, all the graphical elements are on on this plastic so if you're collecting these you have to check out that this is in order and not scratch too much because if this is Damage then the, basically everything graphical on this limited edition is damage good and you will be really annoyed about that. So and then we go to the box. It opens on two sides like this. It's, oh and there goes the essential disc. Yeah, this is an issue with these ones. This don't they don't hold the discs very well and when they get older even the holder drops down the glue is not very good on these so it has the essential discs which has some videos and uh, uh, I think encyclopedia or haleopedia or something like that I think or beast theory I'm not really sure anymore but what the name was but it's, it's it contains uh, tidbits like uh, from of the halo universe and some background stories for the enemies and so on. And here's the game disc. And here's actually a smaller version. Uh, printed one of the same same uh, beast theory thing above up. There's some info, nice pictures. And so on. It has a really nice print on it, nicely embossed, or basically, uh, I think, lacked. And it looks good, it feels great, feels sm small enough to fit in the box, good detail. And here's a quick start guide, nothing special, all in Finnish or other v weird Nordic languages, like Nor Norwegian, Swedish and so on. And since this is a Nordic version, <laughs> and and quick start guide and then there's the one quick start guide in poster form so this is the one 
you can see, nothing special, just picture of controllers and what they do. And that's basically the Halo 3 limited edition, but this is the one, uh, again, you want to get these limited editions for the steel boxes, but be because this is fully painted, the rust is not that big of an issue, uh, so it's painted and on all sides, so if this gets rusted, it doesn't, you basically, it's, it's rust proof because of the paint. It's not that bad and even but because of the back paint all the scratches can be seen and dents can be seen even worse like you can see uh, There's a dent And there are mi Million million small scratches on this box, but yeah, I'm not too picky about it I just want to own one and here's my one. So our next one, I think we're going to go to Reach. Yeah, I think that's the next one, or is the ODST? I get confused. Um, but let's let's take Reach first. So yeah, oh, that mirror, I had to change, move the camera a little bit. This is a big, 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 big box. Yeah, so uh, in some kind of madness, Microsoft decided Hey, let's make limited edition, or just in this case, collector's pack, which isn't that much of a limited edition since it's the normal print game. In uh, and then it it's a limited edition controller control bundle with it. So yeah, they they have this, done this many times. They've done done it again with the Xbox One. There's the Master Chief and. Uh, uh, other Halo, other guy in Halo that nobody remembers, you know, the, the other dude that you have to play Halo 5 most parts and everybody hates, but that guy <laughs> and his controller. But yeah, yeah, uh, it's a really nice controller, you're gonna take it out of the box, which means jump cup time. But yeah, like, like I said, this is a uh, Japanese version. It's basically the same as the European and the US one, only the texts are Japanese, which for me, it's actually a funny thing. I do tend like this kind of th kind of stuff that is a little bit different than the normal one, and no nobody else has. The reason why this is in Japanese is because I have the ODST in PAL, so I don't have issues in playing it, and it was a lot of cheap, lot cheaper uh, buying from Japan, boxed and with an unused controller than from <laughs> than from any seller in Europe. So that's the reason why. But yeah, I'm gonna take the controller out and let's look about look a little bit at the details on that one. Hey, come on, focus. Focus! There it goes. Oh, 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 jump cup, got unmoved camera and ah, uh, bad, bad, bad mojo. But yeah, I did, did warn everybody. So come on, let's focus. Yeah, here's the ODST. Controller, like you can see, it's really nicely detailed. Lots of small print. Come on, there you go. And it has a lot of nice little things going on for it. Uh, the battery cover is a little bit wonky. I'm not actually sure. No, it's actually like that. Yeah, it's it's a black one. I've seen seen it before. It's it has this black green thing going on around it. Come on! It's focusing on the sofa, not on the controller. Stupid camera. Yeah. Normal Xbox controller, nothing ver special about it, but yeah, it has the Halo 3 ODSD logo on it and lots of small details in the print. But yeah, I really do like this one and I'm a sucker for all things Halo, so let's go the next part. So next I'm still gonna jump uh, away from Reach since that box is a little bit bigger and the next one will be Halo Wars. Yeah let's do it that way. One moment. Yeah and the camera has moved a little bit. Okay so here's the Halo Wars box and this one is actually quite interesting. In the first glance, it looks like a Halo 3 box. Yeah, it's a double size box, etc., etc. But actually, no. What they've done, they stuffed a normal DVD case size steel box in it. Well, 
which is really really nice one this actually is way way better than the halo 3 box i don't know what's happening with the halo 3 box they like make the, made a really nice halo 2 box then they make this double size horrific black box 3 and then they make this one a nice embossing on it and the covenant print and then on the other side there's the humans with their stuff and again the same embossing it's a really really nice steel box and there's the game and there's some customer service numbers do they still work anyone want to try there you can call the UK number is there someone finish this finish number call I dare you and here's the quick start guide some nice pictures and the units and then I know that but yeah this is the reason why you get this and it's it's really cool I do like this one it's something really special and then there's the second part which is again a DVD case sized thingamabop but in this case it's an envelope which firstly contains the batch I think this is a glass mat? beer mat? yeah you can put it on table and put something on it yeah. but yeah it's really nice well, very ma well made spirit of fire, fire really good quality embossing and so on yeah this is this is really nice I, I do like that one and then there's the uh, then it goes like this and then there's these weird cards that they started made, making with some stats about and information about uh, characters and units and whatever. I I really don't get this, and I never actually see, saw the valid point in this. And they actually, I think they've been making these ever since they started to put them in uh, fo foiled bags. But we're gonna see those later. And then there's the Halo Wars Genesis book, which is a kind of uh, novel time cartoon thingy. But this is a really nice one. It's really well made and the story is not that bad. Nothing that interesting. There's nothing uh, you can't live without, but for a Halo fan, it's something you really want to look into. It's really, really nice. There you can see the spirit of fire. But yeah, that's that's the Halo Wars one. I do like the steel box a lot. And the cartoon or comic is not that bad, especially since it's a hardcover. So it's really nice. Yeah, so here's the right side, the Covenant side, and the human side again. Or you wanna see. Yeah, so next we go to Halo Reach at last. So one moment. Okay, so let's go to Reach. So like everybody knows who was a little bit familiar with Halo or Halo universe and that Halo Reach was Bungie's swan song for uh, Halo and they actually went totally bonkers and overboard with this limited edition. It's almost like an... It could be a uh, legendary edition, except the legendary edition is even more bonkers than this is. And But yeah, let's not talk about the legendaries, like I said, and concentrate on the le uh, limited edition. So this is an UNSC data cube, or actually I think an ONI data cube, so ONI is the... Of, Office of Naval Security, which is more like their spying section and so on, dark ops and everything like that crap. And it, it's a big pack, black box, which has a sleeve on it. The box itself has some details, nice little print 
things. Come on. Oh, there you go. Archive model and specs and weight and so on. And, and there's like the SATA or whatever connector which it should go in and so on. But yeah, and <laughs> this thing opens from the top like this. And I have to take the camera a little bit back and my voice may be go a little bit. I will just take a picture and video that show you in the video how it opens and then I will get back in close. So one moment. I I am really sorry for those who get motion sickness since I have to take it a, a tad, tad back. So let's go opening this up. Up. There you go. Is the shell and here's the game itself so let's go a little bit back inside since this is a little bit harder since it's a big 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 thing so yeah so there's just the normal halo reach game it's well stuck in there come on come on get out out of there okay the game as it is Nothing special. Quick start guide. And then bonus content codes. They are all used, but there you go. Try your luck. Yeah. And then we get to the interesting part. So the top opens like this. There's this bubble wrap only signature uh, envelope inside. One, two. It says top secret and subject Catherine E. Hals uh, Catherine E. Halsey, which you know is the mother of the Spartan protocol, uh, Spartan operations and basically mad scientist type woman of the Halo universe who plays mostly both sides in some ways but yeah inside it is a really 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 nicely done personal journal of Catherine E. Halsey so this one opens like this it's a magnet cover, two magnets holding together Oh yeah, it's that this way. Sorry, my bad. So there's some screw balls. It's like make, made like a real written stuff or a real written book, like it would be written on hand. There are those this kind of small notes and uh, uh, how to say paper cuts or what they're meant. You know, somebody can correct me in the comments if they want to. But yeah, there are a lot of background story to the Spartan project and what she has been thinking to it and what are the issues being and so on. It's a really, really big amount of information for, for those lore freaks out there. And for, of course, everybody who wants to role play her, I think is something really really nice and I, I really really enjoy how much they put effort in this thing one moment checks in not not only this small paper pieces and on there's there's even more having a little bit issues and keeping it into the camera and keeping all those small pieces inside so there's this sleeve in the back which contains a ton of more stuff. I'm gonna take them out one by one and go them together with you guys. So here's a genetic makeup for a candidate. I think this was for a candidate for the Spartan project. There you go. A star map.
New, new flash and then there's a ton of other stuff like some personal journals, only uh, memorations and this is Catherine's passcode or key card, her patch. Come on, there you go, which is actually on uh, ironable if you want to put it on something more permanent. And more new, more information on interstate news and then there's more Oni and pondering and so on, so on, so on. Lots of lots of stuff, more little tidbits, pictures, uh, stuff that Halsey, if she would be a real, real person, could have in her journal. And then there's this weird, weird card, but this time I actually do like them since they're candidate records of Spartan Project members and I'm not sure if 117 is one of those. This No, I think not. Let's check. I could be wrong. This court. This car lap. Uh, this car is no, I, I remember right now. John was not one of these. But yeah, anyhow, this is something something really nice. It has a ton of stuff in it, and for every every lore freak, it's something you won't go through in one night. But maybe two or three, and and it's something you really really enjoy enjoy owning because it's a really made thing, really nicely made thing. It and I really enjoy how they did this. Yeah, they went totally overboard with it. It's binded by uh, this kind of bands and not not um, uh, glued together thing. So it's really nice. It, it feels handmade, even though it's probably made in China by some child work, child workers uh, or robots or whatever. But it's a really a really nice thing. So this is the reason why you want this, but if you don't like this, I don't see if it's worth spending the money or the space in yourself. But this is the reason, if you do like these kind of things, go ahead, get one of these. They're not actually that bad. They are for them, you can get them really cheap. So go, if you're a Halo, Halo fan, do yourself a favor and get the Reach limited edition. So next we're going into the last uh, Halo game on the 360, so Halo 4. No, actually we're not going to, I, this fell out when I was finishing, it's a big uh, map of reach. So for those who want to see the places and where pro probably the uh, game chaser artifact that's in the game is, this is something you uh, probably like. But that was one thing I did not go through. But yeah, let's go now to Halo 4. And here's Halo 4. It comes in this nice angled cardboard box with the Halo 4 logo on the side. Yeah, focus. And it has this black sleeve with all the details on it. Uh, nothing too fancy, but it's it's a nice box with really nicely embossed UNSC logo on it. Uh, I'm not sure it has this kind of serial code on it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a unique one or if it's an if it's the same on every every everyone. So if you know about it, put out something in the comments or not. I don't actually really care. It's a nice box. Not that fancy, no, but because it's cardboard, I don't really care that much. The the really the thing that I'm caring about is this one. Uh, after Reach, I was a little bit annoyed that Reach didn't came with a steel box, but Halo Four comes again with a steel box. This one is a really nice white one, and it has this embossed texture on it, like you see it. Yeah, come on, focus. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
don't know how much the camera is taking up, but yeah, you can see it. Up. It's a really nice one, and the same thing is going on inside with the blue and here are the game discs. Nothing too special about it, but it's a really nice addition in your collection if you're in these tears boxes like I am, especially the Halo ones. Uh, then in the box starts this weird uh, folio bag stuff that I talked about earlier. I'm really not into this, I, I, I don't know the point. So these are like blind bag thingies that you rip open and yeah, whatever. Inside there's like a mission here you can see better. Oh, focus. Yeah, and uh, for Gabriel Thorn, which is a part of Fireteam Majestic that is uh, currently on UNSC Infinity. But yeah, it's just a um, piece of paper with some lore on it. I, I don't get the point why putting this in full foliated uh, blind bag is a good idea or if it or what it brings to the table for a collector really why okay I understand it's it's an official UNSC infinity whatever yeah you know what I mean and here's an here's a better one this is you um, Unsealable one, so why didn't they do it with the other one? I, I I don't understand. But yeah, this one contains all the downloadable codes. And actually, this this are fancy because you can reuse it, and and you can you can put all the uh, all, all the stuff in it after you've taken it and used them, so they keep in good shape. And, and it has some kind of uh, North Korea, China. Come on thing going on with the UNSC logo, Red, Red Star and Pillars and so on. Or oh, then it's the Pillar of Autumn. Don't know. Don't care. Sorry guys. Uh, and inside the bags there's some 14 day life code, probably unused. Here. Knock yourselves out. There you go. And the usual limited edition DLC crap. Uh, Here's the forward on the dawn download code. This is used. Don't even bother. And customer service numbers. Go ahead and call them. Make some prank calls. Say that I told you so. And that's for that bag. But then there's one nice item in this uh, whole whole stuff that I actually really really do like. Uh, it's this one. Come on. So this is an official official uh, welcome guide to Spartans on the UNSC in Infinity. In this case, it's Spartan Cabra Torn, who was in that uh, blind Paggy thingy, getting his orders to. And it's actually really nice because this is has some words from Laura Palmer and. Uh, who is the leader, or oh, Sarah Parra, sorry, not Laura Parma, I'm going, going a little bit confused here, to watching too many retro TV series, you know who Laura Parma is. Uh, but yeah, it, it has some specs, techno specs of the Infinity, the guns that you're using, nice print, it's really well made, really thick pages. This is a good thing to have. I, I really love this. And, and the back plate is like this big, thick piece of plastic with the UNSC logo on it. And again, it's having this uh, kind of same vibe because it has this uh, handwritten notes in back. There's a Master Chief. Uh, and I'm talking about the Master Chief here. Here. I'm not pull crapping you. Here it says Master Chief. And then there's these little notes and stuff that he is keeping again. Warp games, Jason in summary and whatever. But yeah, this is a nice thing to have. I, I do do like this one. So so this is nice. And then there's this really cool big big poster. Let's see if I can get it in the picture. 
Ah, no, again on the wrong side. There you go. And blueprint of uh, Gabriel Thorn and his and the different Spartan helmets and so on. This is this is really nice. And here's morning morning air again too. Yeah. So this is a nice one. It's, it has this kind of rubbery feel on it, so I think this will decompose long after you're gone if you put it in the circulator or throw it in, throw it in the garbage. But yeah, that's a nice nice little poster. But yeah, that, then it's gonna be Halo Master Chief time, so we're jumping to the, to the current again. Yeah, one moment. Okay, here's the Halo Master Chief Collection Limited Edition. Yeah, uh, if you can see, it's really bruised up. It's like this when it came to me. I ordered a new, brand new one, and this actually was a brand new one. It, I ordered it from game.co.uk. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. They vacuum, vacuum sealed it in an envelope and sent it to me from the UK to Finland and the postal service and whatever has and the vacuum, vacuum sealing has basically just broken this outer shell thing to, well, it looks crap, but whatever, I don't, this isn't really bad example for an Halo limited edition because, you know, after the reach thing, everything feels a little bit cheap and not so well thought, except like the Halo 4 was nice. It, it has some tr good parts in it, but this, well, you get this overblown cardboard box that basically looks like the plastic shell game shell, nothing special, and it actually already tells what, what's inside. So, first up, there's this one. This is an yeah, uh, yeah. Well, this is a multiplayer MacBook, so this has all the maps from all the Halo Halo games that are in in Halo Master Chief Edition. Okay, this is a really nice one. If you haven't played the maps, you don't remember them, and so on. But come on, you're you're getting Master Chief Collection. What you're gonna do? You're gonna play Halo Two maps. Everybody does that. And everybody knows them, so I, I kind of don't get the point. Yeah, it's a really nice one, but it's this is like cheap pages. It's like really, really uh, how to say. Not that, not that, not that well. I'm not that impressed about the quality or the uh, paper thickness and so on. Yeah, it's it looks good, but it could have been hardcover. Come on, this is just cheap, Microsoft. Go fuck yourself. But, and then of course there's the game, but it's empty because I've already uh, transferred the game into the other case, because the thing where you get this is this one. So, Halo Master Chief Collection Limited Steelbook Cover. But, in all fairness, this one is a really nice one because it has an embossed Master Chief on it uh, and the Halo logo and a really nice print. Even the uh, the finish under uh, edges and so on, it's really, really nice. This, this looks good and I do like this one. So this is actually the reason why I got this, even though I was not impressed with all that other stuff in it. Here's the game. Uh, here, it's the Master Chief. Yeah, and then there's the last thing, it's the limited skull code for Halo 2 Anniversary. Is used, don't even try. But yeah, for what it's worth, come on. You get a map book and steel case and and big cardboard box that's half empty. Microsoft, why? What? What's the point? <laughs> Uh, no, whatever. But yeah, for all, all all things saying, I got that really cheap. So, and I had had a norm one um, Master Chief collection already bought, so I sold it away. So it's basically half 
free for me. So yeah, I I got it for the for the really really nice steel case. Here's one more time. This is the reason why you get that. Everything else is just throwaway crap. But this is really nice. Yeah, so we're up to the last part. It's Halo 5. And here's Halo 5. So this actually was a really nice design for the box. It's, an, it's again one of those double sided like the Halo 3 thing was. But uh, it's in Xbox One sizes, sized uh, case height, so it's a little bit lower than the Halo 3. It's a really nice one with some embossing going on and you wanna see logos and there you go. Nothing too shabby but it's it looks nice. Fair enough. Inside you have the game and then there's the uh, thing for the statue, the Middle Earth Guardian statue, but I've already built this one, so I'm gonna, gonna put a picture of it in the end of the video. But yeah, this wasn't really, really held the build, and the pieces have a tendency to break when you're building them. You should get in good pairs of pliers, and which are really tiny for just for making this. Actually, the uh, guys that make these statues do sell them or own tools. They're really good for this kind of stuff. If you like this guy, this these statues and want to build more of them, you can, or other stuff they actually sell on Warthog and Master Chief Hellman and so on. Get those tools because you're gonna go insane if you don't use those tools. Uh, and here's the download codes for all the DLC crappiness that's contained with in this, in this actually it opens up it has the uh, master chief help control control demo and uh, 117 headset and so on uh, get this buy more stuff we're, we're dying with our xbox one get more stuff for it please oh that's a sad microsoft And what's here? Oh yeah, here's the, here's the, here are locks, operation orders. Go, go get us our master chief back. He's a wall. Yeah, EP. Yeah, the log was the guy who I was talking about earlier in the video. Yeah, and some gold code here. Go knock yourself out. Haven't used it. Won't use it here. And nothing special. Just some stuff. And then there's. <laughs> A foliated blind baggy thingy with a new NSC logo. Okay, but this time it's resealable with some tape on it. So I'm gonna give this an C minus. It's it's are the, basically some information cards for Spartan Lock Lock's team. Here's or basically both teams blue and uh, blue team. So let's start blue team. What's better? Here's John one one seven. Got the master chief. Look at him. His information, his fate, and whatever. Nothing in interesting. Frederick, Frederick, one o four. With the master chief and Linda. And then there's Kelly. So yeah, this is the, this is the blue team. Everybody knows and knows what they are, where they come from, and what they do, and so on. And here's. Here's the B team who you have to play with basically most of the game, even though you don't want to. Lock! But yeah, okay, it has Buck. I actually would have loved this game much more if Buck would have been the player, playable color character because Buck rules. Lock sucks. Buck rules. Let that sink in. And then there's Tanaga and yeah, Vale. Nothing too special. I don't still not getting the thing for these cards why this should be somewhat collectible. But yeah, I understand that somebody loves these and wants them in, in the collection. But well, I'm not the judge, but charging for this is just what the fuck. Yeah, but yeah, that's basically the Halo 5 thing. Uh, the steel box is nice, it's not as nice as the. Uh, 
other ones, but it's it it does it's better much better than the Halo 3 one, and it looks good near all the green Xbox One games since it's not green and it's metallic. It rules. And this is a much better limited edition than the Master Chief edition. Come on. I really don't know what they did, did with the Master Chief Collection limited edition. What was the point? But yeah, hey, whatever. This is nice. This sucks. Microsoft, do know this. Keep it this way. Don't go with that cardboard crap. Yeah, but that was that. I will still put a small video of the Guardian statue in the end, so one moment.